Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, another Bissell Brothers beer tonight, and I am absolutely pumped to check it out. Uh, this is their Swish, and I think this is a new can. This all black can. I think this used to come in a white can. And this can is sick. It is just sleek and amazing. And I like how it says Swish like that. That is rad. So, 8% double IPA from Bissell Brothers. They are out of Portland, Maine. Um, I've reviewed a couple Bissell Brother beers, and they both have been awesome. We uh, reviewed Substance, and we also reviewed Reciprocal. Reciprocal was crazy. It almost looked like a homebrew. It was one of the haziest, muddiest beers I've ever had. So, um, it was fun. Um, I like checking out stuff from guys in New England. I'm a total New England IPA lover. You guys know that. And... Uh, for both of my Bissell Brothers reviews, people had commented, you know, you need to try Swish. Swish is like their, I don't know if it's like their beer that everyone goes crazy over or what the deal is, but huge shout out to my buddy Anthony. Um, I, I say it all the time, but the beer community is just ridiculous when it comes to YouTube. He saw a couple of my Bissell Brother reviews and sent me a message and said, hey, I can get a can of Swish for you if you want to do a trade. And I was like, of course. So thank you, sir. Without you, this would not be possible. So yeah, 8%. Double IPA, it's brewed with Mosaic, Citra, Simcoe, and Apollo hops, I do believe. Um, I think there's like three or four different malts in this, so all kinds of stuff going on. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this one. Uh, they don't date their cans, but when Anthony sent this, he sent the little four-pack carrier, and they date the four-pack carrier, which kind of sucks, because if you're trading these or whatever, this is not going to focus. There we go. This was canned on December 4th, so... Time of recording, uh, I can't see the date. About two weeks old, 13 days old. So I can smell that already. And that's one of the things people had said about this beer. The aroma is crazy. And just from that, just from opening it, <laughs> you can already tell it is a gusher. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that pours like pineapple juice. This kind of looks like reciprocal, but it's not as like disgustingly muddy it is just straight up pineapple juice in a glass that's insane completely opaque you cannot see anything through it no light uh, there's some carbonation I can see the little bubbles at the very very bottom of the glass but that looks absolutely like a New England IPA um, just straight up juice in a glass there was about a finger of bright white head um, it's dissipated already 8% it's not sticking around there are alcohol legs on that there's already lacing hanging out so what a killer killer looking beer so yeah, let's go ahead and shove our nose in this one, see what, the, see what we got. Wow, that's explosively juicy. Tropical fruits, pineapples and peaches, crazy. <laughs> that's insane how like tropical fruit juicy that is. Um, there's definite citrus in there, oranges, tangerines. There's like a, like a lemony kind of lime thing going on. That's weird, but not weird, but it's kind of cool that I'm getting that aroma. It's almost... <laughs> This sounds really, really dumb, but it's like a lemon lime, like almost like a, almost like Sprite or 7-Up. It's like crazy, crisp, and refreshing smelling. Yeah, this is a gusher. It is just a tropical fruit juice bomb. It smells awesome. Um, up there with noses like on Treehouse beers, Trillium beers. And I remember, I think, I'd have to go back and watch my other Bissell Brother beer reviews, but I think all of their beers have, like, these crazy aromatics, and this is no different. This is crazy pungent, very juicy. It's got, like, a little bit of dankness underneath all that tropical fruit juice and citrus. A um, little bit of, like, her herbaceous kind of green hot mattery thing going on. This is a killer smelling beer. Yeah, this smells absolutely awesome. So let's go ahead and dig in. Anthony, thank you, sir. Cheers. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Whoa. Juice bomb. Tropical. It, it tastes follows the nose. Tropical fruits. Crazy tropical fruits. Pineapples and peaches. Mangoes. Uh, middle of the mouth, you're getting a nice pop of bitterness. Um, just kind of rolls front to back across your tongue. You're getting that, like the orange peel, grapefruit peel, grapefruit pithy kind of thing, that white part of the underneath the grapefruit peel. There's a dankness in there. Almost reminds me of like a West Coast style beer, but um, definitely in that East Coast uh, vibe, like that just crazy tropical fruit juice bomb. Um, 
it's just it's gushing fruit it's awesome this is crazy crazy good mouth feels awesome medium medium plus not quite like the creamy you know treehouse ridiculous mouthfeel beers that we've had um, not thin by any means just kind of coat your just coat your mouth um, bitterness hangs out falls right off finishes nice and dry you want to keep sipping on this eight percent you don't smell booze you're not tasting any of it these are crushable crazy crazy drinkable for that ABV I can't believe this is an eight percent beer that's insane man that's so good the pineapple notes and the peach notes and the citrus notes it's crazy amazing 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 um this is the best bissell brother beers i've had Be best that's a tongue, tongue twister best bissell brother brothers beer i've had <laughs> awesome awesome stuff this is way way high 90s for me um i mean if you're comparing it to the other double IPAs from New England, the only thing that it's lacking is like mouthfeel. Um, it's not even, it's like just kind of a notch below even like the alchemy. Like we just drank Focal Banger. Um, that was like a week or so ago. That one even was a little bit fuller of a mouthfeel than this one. But I mean, we're just like nitpicking stuff right now. This is, this is really, really good. It's just, it's not like that crazy, like suddenly like mind blown, poof, like, I don't think it's, a, I don't think it's a 100. Um, and I don't know what it is that's keeping it from it for me. Is it, if it's mouthfeel, that's just stupid to nitpick. As this warms up though, the bitterness comes out a little bit more. Um, it's a little sweet on the finish. That might be a little bit of the alcohol coming out, but this is crazy awesome. Crushable for 8%, one of the best double IPAs um, and the best Bissell Brother beer I've had. So I'm going 99 on this one. 99 out of 100. I mean, it's an A+, plus. it's world class, it's amazing. Um, definitely try and get your hands on this one. Anthony, thank you so much for sending this. This is Swish in a sexy black can with that awesome Bissell Brothers beer logo. So yeah, insane. If you've had Swish, let me know what you think. Uh, I mean, for my money, one of the best New England double IPAs there is. This is insane. Crazy stuff. Awesome, awesome stuff. So uh, I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the likes. The new subscribers who have just been subscribing, thank you so much for subscribing. The comments are awesome. I love talking beer with you guys. Um, and I just appreciate you guys hanging out. So, uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Until next time, I will see you later. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to.